I have become blind at the age of eight months. And I accepted my condition as I was told that I'm a poor blind person in India. I am Baluji Srivastav, the musical director of Baluji Music Foundation and Innovation Orchestra. We are born as musicians. That's what I believe. When I was two years old, three years old, I used to just sing all kinds of Bollywood songs, including the scratches of gramophone records. Mainly what I wanted from the Innovation Orchestra, all the blind people should be able to play with uh, professional musicians like I have played with Massive Attack or with Boy George, with um, Annie Lennox, with Stevie Wonder. And to prove to those all sighted people that we can be independent. Dear Baluji, I hope this letter finds you in good health. It's important that you know how fortunate I feel. I accept that I am getting older and I know that my condition is a result of aging. I fear that one day my vision will go completely, but daily meditation helps me to stay focused and positive. Well, I'm glad that I'm working with Dave, who is a very good blind poet. And I'm working with Rachel, who is a very good painter. And I feel like I'm in a big family of visually impaired people. When I heard uh, Dave's poetry and also the interview of Thainukon from Thailand and Lucero from Mexico, I found my experience are uh, quite similar. And I really need help from you, what, what you can provide us the inspiration for my music, and so I can compose music for change makers. I've lost vision in one eye before, only briefly, thanks goodness. And earlier this year, I fell into a coma for three weeks. My diabetes is something I have to live with and manage carefully. I started treatment and I'm responding well. It requires me to travel six hours to and from Bangkok every month. I have spent many hours in the hospital waiting room where I've met some wonderful people. I really admire those people who become late age blind like you are. And because for me, it's very easy. I, I was bo almost born like that. You have seen so much beauty around you and then suddenly you lose your sight. So it could be a very daunting kind of task, but uh, I'm sure you can face it and you have done it. You have done very well. Once the optic nerve is damaged, then you can't do anything about it. I'm not really concerned about my type of blindness, but the other kind of blindness can be prevented. Diabetic retinopathy comes from diabetes mellitus and unfortunately, uh, high blood sugars affect blood vessels and the blood vessels in the retina can become damaged and this leads to vision loss. And so now our real effort is about education and access and getting people to the right treatment because I firmly believe that we can prevent a lot of the vision loss from diabetes. Age-related macular degeneration is the leading cause of legal blindness for people over the age of 65. And it occurs because of a genetic makeup, your DNA, and it occurs later in life. And I'm happy to say that, that we can offer people treatments that can restore some vision in some cases, but also protect against further vision loss. When I go with my wife, we go for a long, long walk. We have walked for five to seven miles together. And she, so she's helping me. Basically, she's 
living a life for me because i'm 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 living life without her it will be very difficult very difficult and i'm very lucky that she is such a helpful woman i have learned a lot from caring it's taught me the joy of being able to help somebody and also balancing that with looking after yourself so that balance but yes i i have found it um an enriching experience yeah. when when people have spoken to me they said you know you are blind you don't see how the world's beautiful things are so many things are so beautiful diamonds gold and all that and i say yeah 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 but as far as i'm concerned beauty is in the heart beauty is in the people so i am taking part in this campaign to raise the awareness of living with loss of vision there is a lot of joy to find in life without sight even though you may find that hard to imagine at the beginning and i think everybody um can learn something from blind people that will make their lives better